I left my job in the corporate world. I was bored and restless. My marriage had ended several months before. We fought too much and resentments became our focus instead of affection. I started traveling with no particular destination in mind. I arrived in an another city one afternoon and got off the train. At first the station felt deserted, but then people flowed down the platform in currents. Like migrating birds, they seemed to know where they were going and why. While I stood frozen in the sweltering heat, barely able to breathe, a train rolled through, crashing through the stagnant air like a wrecking ball. The gray blur of the passing train hypnotized me or erased my thoughts because my mind became quiet and I was aware only of a stream of sweat that was gliding down my back as I stood staring across the tracks at the opposite platform. I had a vision. Was it the Virgin Mary, a Hindu goddess, a fairy? I can't say, but it was real. A woman radiating light and joy stood across from me staring back. And then suddenly she was gone. I spent the rest of the afternoon in the station, wandering around, looking for this woman. But the longer I looked, the more hopeless it seemed that I would ever find her. It was as if the fever of my yearning was driving the life out of me, and I was becoming a phantom, the unknown person in the background of tourist snapshots. I existed, but had no identity. I decided to spend some time living in the city. I had enough money to rent a small room and more than enough time to open myself to beauty and mystery. One night, alone in my room, it occurred to me that I had withdrawn from the world so completely that I might have developed the ability to disappear at will like the woman at the station. The question in my mind was no longer if my vision was real, but was I real? I never got used to the heat, so I spent most nights walking aimlessly through the cavernous streets, smoking and thinking. I was looking for this woman, but I couldn't admit it to myself. It seemed so desperate and crazy. I was searching for meaning, in every sculpture and painting that adorned this beautiful city. Had the creators of these images been inspired by visions like mine? I studied the artwork everywhere I went, but felt nothing. Then one day, everything changed. I had decided it was time to move on, but wanted to visit a garden that I had heard about. I was feeling more solid and three-dimensional, like I could stand in the light of day and cast a shadow like normal people. As I entered the garden, I passed a couple arguing, and the pain of my past relationships suddenly struck me with unexpected force.
A wave of fatigue forced me to seek shade and sit for a while. As I was resting, I became aware of a light breeze that was animating the trees, the bushes, the air itself. I felt like a child who knows his mother is near. My reverie was interrupted when the couple that had been arguing earlier approached me and asked me to take their photograph. I realized that this woman was the woman in my vision from weeks before. I tell you this story not because I desired her in a romantic way or because I understand the mystery of our connection. I know only that our connection had the strength of love and that it healed me.